While other states experience tornadoes, hurricanes, and earthquakes, Arizona has heat. Cronkite News reporter Andrew Lind is at City Hall and explains why Arizona lawmakers are asking FEMA or the Federal Emergency Management Agency to revise its list of declared disasters to include excessive heat. Yeah, Adrian, temperatures about this time normally are already in the triple digits. And while that's not the case right now, the city is gearing up for that summer heat. That's why the mayor is partnering with Representative Ruben Gallego to introduce a bill to add excessive heat to that declared disasters list. Heat causes more deaths each year than most other natural hazards combined. Yet the National Emergency Planning and Response Mechanisms lack the same resources dedicated to other types of extreme weather events. FEMA recognizes 16 declared disasters. Excessive heat is not one of them. Although last year, Maricopa County reports 425 people died of heat-related deaths. That's up 25% from 2021. Cutting down the heat-related fatalities is one of the reasons the city created the Office of Heat Response and Mitigation. We're the first city with a permanent office in government that is dedicated to fighting heat and adapting to it anywhere in the United States. Well, Arizona is on the forefront and proactive in finding local solutions. It costs a lot of money to keep the heat and response team running, sucking funds from other important groups. For example, we have an extreme heat situation. This comes out of the general fund of the city, so they're going to have to go and pay for a cooling center. So that means they're going to have to pay less for cops, for firefighters, for parks, for uh, other programs. The city is spending millions to add cool pavement to neighborhood roads and almost $4 million to add shade trees. That's in addition to the almost 60 cooling centers around the metro. We'd encourage people who are feeling vulnerable or who can't pay their air conditioning bill or who've lost power to take advantage of those cooling centers. Last week, the U.S. Conference of Mayors voted unanimously to support the resolution to add extreme heat to the declared disasters list. This is because other states have experienced extreme temperatures with costly results. Well, we've seen the northwest states like Washington State and Oregon also have the same problems. And again, that's a situation where they're not used to 90 degree weather, 95 degree weather. The fact that what they're dealing with right now is costing them a lot of money. It's costing them a lot of lives. Now, Phoenix won't see any of this money this summer, but Representative Gallego says he is gathering support and expects this bill to start gaining traction in Congress next year. In Phoenix, Andrew Lind, Cronkite News.